Good morning friends. Today I will introduce to you a 41 year old male. He was suffering from erectile dysfunction due to diabetes. The good thing is that he had kept his diabetes in very good control and that is why his overall health was very good. But still because of the diabetes he was suffering from erectile dysfunction. So we will meet him and hear his experience. He had tried many treatments and after that finally he had decided to do penile implant and we have done the tetra penile implant on him. So let us meet him. Yes please. Hi hey, good morning all. So as Dr. Ashish just said I've been on this journey for 5-6 years now. I've been diabetic for around 10 years now and for the last 4 to 5 years I've been facing major issues related to getting and sustaining an erection. Now, uh, when the issue was first diagnosed around 4 or 5 years back, I was put under multiple treatments that included supplements, that included uh, Viagra in multiple doses. Uh, also tried Ayurvedic medicines for some time and around one year back when I exhausted all the options, that's when I uh, that has, that's when I was advised actually by a medical practitioner to consider something like this and since then I have been on this journey doing my research, meeting multiple practitioners both in India and abroad and uh, yeah so that's the journey uh, per se so so uh, the key considerations when I was actually uh, looking to get an implant were these I, I wanted to identify a doctor who has a certain level of expertise in uh, managing an operation at, at, at this level. I wanted to identify an implant which would gel with my lifestyle. I am not somebody who actually looks for a lot of mechanical items so the failure ratio was very very crucial for me. So I wanted something that was simple and sustainable. And third was I was worried about the recovery time. Me being a diabetic and the kind of lifestyle I, ha I have uh, traveling extensively for work uh, I, I could not be in bed for too long. So these were the three critical issues. Of course, the normal issues in terms of how would I conceal uh, once once I have an impl implant inside because I am normally dressed formally for 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 all occasions. Yeah, so but that was also a big factor. Uh, I did meet a few doctors, not just in India but also abroad, and I came away thoroughly disillusioned with, with, with the kind of solutions they were providing me, with the kind of advisors that they were giving me yeah, and they were trying to push me into things which I was not comfortable with and that's when I uh, was referred to Dr. Ashish in Delhi and uh, in the first meeting itself he was very clear and very forthcoming about the pros, the cons as well as the multitude of options that were available and how he could help me with it. So it was an informed decision to get into the Tactra implant that I went into because I look at it as a long term investment for a minimum 15 to 20 years and I did not want to compromise on that. And uh, uh, again, uh, one of my biggest worries as I just said, the concealability part of it. I think I just got operated two days back and even, even now I can realize that it is not bad as we think it is. Yeah, the doctor was very clear that Anu, what you're actually, what you're actually uh, worried about will not happen. So uh, I'm thankful to him, and uh, the pain is absolutely minimal, if if I may put it that way. It is nothing unbearable. Uh, this is as good or as bad as any normal surgery is, uh, is there, and and. And you are now two days out of surgery, right? I am two days out of surgery. All the bandages are off. Yeah, and and uh, if uh, I mean I'm dressed in pants and shirt, uh, so uh, I think it's 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 good. It's not. I mean we make it we we sort of overthink and make it more complicated than it really is. So I think that's that's a good thank you to him as well because it was a very seamless procedure. You don't even realize what's happening behind the behind a curtain that's there. Yeah, uh, and and and. Uh, there's, 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 there's nothing to uh, fear about. Good it is. I mean, thanks, thanks a ton. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it was a pleasure. So right now, after removal of catheter, how is the urination? 
the urination is absolutely fine there is a slight burning sensation but uh, it is uh, as i have been told as i have been advised it is because of the catheter that was inside yeah it was profound yesterday but today i think it's all normal nothing nothing bad good so friends that the implant which uh, this patient underwent is the tetra implant this is the tetra implant the good thing about the tetra implant is it's very rigid number one thing which the patients are looking for when they are having erectile dysfunction and they are wanting a solution is that the rigidity should be good they should be able to have sex properly and when somebody asks me what is the best implant you recommend for hardness and rigidity then i always recommend the tetra implant because the rigidity of all the implants compared tetra is the best also because of his nitinol core it is able to bend the bending is not 90 degrees but it is around 70 80 degrees but i have taken a video of the patient after the surgery today where he is showing the erect penis and the bending penis so if you click on the link i you can see the exact video how the implant looks like how is the hardness and how is the bendability so friends the main aim to show this video is that first thing i wanted to tell you that if you are suffering from erectile dysfunction and diabetes it's a severe problem and many times medicines are not working and you should definitely consider penile implant surgery it is a very good option and it is a permanent solution secondly even for this patient and usually diabetics have very fibrosed corpora the space is not enough so even for him although the penile size is good inside it was quite fibrosed and we put a 9.5 mm implant now that's a thin implant but still because it's a tetra implant it gives good rigidity so for patients who are diabetics this is a very good implant because even if we have to place a thinner implant because of the fibrosis the tetra implant gives good rigidity and obviously the bending is also not that bad and concealability is quite good so if you are also a patient of diabetes and you are suffering from erectile dysfunction or you are thinking of penile implant surgery you can contact me my email address and whatsapp number are given in the description thank you thank you thanks